Hey streamers, and welcome to part four of our Create Your Video Streaming website on WordPress series. And here in part four, I'll be showing you how you can enable your regular users to go live on your WordPress website. So with the right permission, anyone can go live on your website. And this is great if you have a marketplace um, venture or an e-commerce site or just anything kind of like Twitch where anyone can go live on your website and audiences, viewers can come on and watch what's going on with their favorite streamers. So I'll be using this page right here. So the go live page, and you can also check out this article, which I will link down below that basically explains how this works and the short codes you can use the widget or the block, because this also works for WP bakery for uh, Elementor, which I'll be using in this uh, video tutorial. And you can also check out the short code in case you don't have these uh, page builders. And I'll also link the video tutorial for enabling this using WP Bakery. So yeah, let's get started by going back to our website. And like I said, we'll be using this page, the go live page, and I will edit this page and then I'll click on edit with Elementor. If you just use this without Elementor, you will have to add the short code, which I'll also link down the, the description bar. So we will look up a widget. So I'll just select my structure, click on the plus, and here I will type in WP stream and I'll be using this widget right here, which is the WP stream start streaming. So I will drag this to the um, block right here to the structure. And yeah, let me just delete one of those. And as you can see here, you will need to add a product slash free product ID. And to get this ID, you will go back to your WordPress website to your admin, I mean, and we will go to WP stream settings. And we first want to enable permission to specific users. So who can go live on your website? You can also change the slug of these pages. So I'm just going to add this. And I currently have everyone as permitted, but you can also just use one or two or whoever you want to grant permission to. So I'm just going to be using editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. You can also choose whether you want a free live channel or pay-per-view channel. So each user can have either a free or a pay-per-view channel, and you can also set a default pay-per-view price. Once you've done all this, you will have to change your, to save your settings, to save changes. And now that that's done, we will go to free to view live channels and I'll create a free to view live channel for my specific user. So I'll go here and then I will click on add new. And in case you've already seen some of our other videos or part one of our series, for example, we follow the same procedure where we add a title. We can also add a description, a bio. So I'm just going to add regular user going live, but you can add the name of the user that you want to go live. Don't forget to add a featured image so that it looks nicer. Add your tags, your categories, and all these um, SEO things. Make sure you add a in-depth description. So publish your channel. Remember I said that you do need an ID of your channel or your product, and you'll find this ID in this um, search bar over here. I copied that ID and I'm going to paste it right over here under product slash free product ID. So the product ID is the 1296 and I'm going to update this page. Here is how it looks like, but I'm going to log out because I currently have permission to, since I'm the admin, but I don't want, I, I basically want my regular users to have permission as well. To do this, I'm just going to set up a random user, um, a random username, 
a random email and my password to register on my website just so I can demonstrate how it works. And then once they register, if they go to this page right here, they still don't have permission to broadcast. So this goes back to us, the admin. So I'm just going to log out and log in as an admin once again, because I will need to change their permission. I mean, change their role to grant permission. So I'm back on my account and I will go back to my admin and I will go to users. Here, I will look up regular user. So here it is. And when they first register, the user is automatically made a customer and I'll change that from customer to one of the permission roles that I granted. So if you remember earlier, I also have that on the screen. So I changed it to subscriber and I updated my user. Now as a subscriber, if I will go back and log in to their account, my fake user account, I will go back to go live the page and I will now have permission or my user will now have permission because I have changed their user role. So it's very important that you do this before anything. So now that they're on, they can turn on the channel right away and they can choose to go live from the browser or using an external broadcaster. So for this, I'm going to be using, or my user, my fake user will be using um, OBS Studio. So I will click on go live with an external streaming app and they can use multiple streaming apps. But like I said, I'll be using OBS Studio. I'll go to settings, stream and copy the server and stream key and paste them into the appropriate section. Once that's done, I'll click on OK and start streaming. So now that this fake user is streaming, they can click on view channel and they will go straight to their channel where they are broadcasting. And that is how a regular user can go live on your WordPress website. And you may not want everyone to be able to go live, only specific users. So this is why it's important that you grant them permission before they can go live. Once they're done, they'll go back and click on stop streaming and their broadcast would have ended and the following message will appear. That's how you know that the live stream is over. You can also change up this text, this off air text. Just check out the link down in the description bar. So that is it on how your regular users can go live on your WordPress website. Stay tuned for next week as we update or post our final parts of the series. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.